Welcome back to Thoughts at the Spot, episode 16, with the one and only C. Joe, and the second only C. Los. Hey, we're back, and uh, we're black. Oh, I am. I'm dressed in black. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on. I don't care. It's, it's been a while. Cancel me. Um, I mean, canceled. don't cancel us, because we... We just got back. <laughs> we just got back. But we hit our listeners, so we're still waiting for us. To, you, you, we're waiting for that first check to come in. <laughs> uh, so it's going to, you know, you all know this, not this episode, but on the coming uh, other episodes, we will start having our ads on here. So I'm not saying we're big deals, but uh, kind of made a little bit, you know. Like, hey, you might see then, us with a new setup. What's up? <laughs> Getting all the that way, I can start paying all the debt for all this equipment. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Yo, where's the money?" And I'm like, "Give me a second, give me a second. But now, episode 16, we we're um, you know, sincerely thankful that we made it this far. I know we took a little break. How long has it been? I think. Well, last time I said I said I posted December 19th, but December we recorded 19th? December 16th. So, so it's, it's been what a month now? Yeah, a month now. Well, it's a month. It's the holidays. We just got back. You know, um, New Year. New was, or same was? Huh? New year, new me. <laughs> we started the gym. We started, started the gym. nah, bro. <laughs> I've learned. I've learned from the times that I have lost weight that if you start the gym in January, it's not gonna last, bro. No. I mean, people that have already been going to the gym, great. You know, it doesn't that doesn't change? But if your new resolution is to start in January, it's BS, bro. So when do you start? Um, July, June. No, the the right time to start is March. March, March is the right time to start. If you're, that's your new re- New Year's resolution. Um, obviously, you don't want to be how you were. If you're trying to change your lifestyle, mm-hmm. obviously you want to start in January. Yeah, right. You don't want to be as bad as you were throughout last year. You know. Yeah. But I think you should, you know, slow it down, but fully start in March. A lot of people start in January and a lot of people fail. And that's typically when all the gyms yeah. are packed in January. So you can't even really get a good workout in anyways. So do you so do you believe in those uh, what do you call it? The New Year resolution? Or do you think it's just you said it's BS? New Year's resolution? I mean I think it works for some people. You yeah. know? I think it works for some, not all, but um I told myself I'd stop drinking energy drinks and here I am. Well, I mean I'll have one on me right now. But you drink one? But if you want me to have a Red Bull <laughs> Red Bull, you know where to find me. I <laughs> just get, <kidding. laughs> uh, dude. They sponsor us, and then all of a sudden, like we drink one every show. And yeah, it's like bang. Like the one that's more common is Banks. So Banks gonna, <laughs> it's gonna sponsor. Banks you. going out of at, go, Banks going bankrupt, bro. Is it? Did I already file bankruptcy? Yeah, they they were saying that they were claiming that there was something in their energy drinks, uh, and it was false advertisement. Yeah, it was BS. What they yeah. Were saying. So anyway, I think we talked about it some other time, yeah, but we did. Um, I think we did. So yeah, I mean, but. It'd be funny if we start, you know, get sponsored by an energy drink. We drink it, and we get a cardiac arrest. R.I.P. <laughs> well, not R.I.P. because he made it real life, but Damar Hamlin. Damar Hamlin. Yeah. So that's too you like how like I lead that into it? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> uh, but no, for real though. I'm glad he's okay. Yeah, sponsor us. Who? Oh yeah, energy, energy drinks. Drink. Anyone. Anyone. Unless Anyone. you use it on animals, then shame on you. Have you what? Sh- use it on animals? Like yeah. Anything? True, true, true. At least later is known in advance, so yeah. that's all we have. <laughs> uh, that's if anybody sponsors us, man. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, man. What's so? What's, what's up? What's what? What we? What have you been up to since then? Since our last we recorded our last episode. So the last episode, I'm probably up like ten pounds from last mm-hmm. episode. Oh, for all that food that we ate. Yeah, the, the holidays ho- and stuff. All the holidays, yeah. You know, Merry Christmas. I'm gonna say it. Right Merry away. Christmas. Oh. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah. Um. But yeah, dude, I mean, it's the same, same shit, you know, just different day, just yeah. like everyone else that, you know, just out here trying to survive, um, trying to find eggs. I don't know if you have eggs. Oh yeah. Right. The eggs, crazy situation is the eggs. You know, something's always getting fucked up in the world, you know? 
Yeah. Now, I think ever since after COVID, something's getting fucked. Yeah. I don't know, you know, what it is. I mean, it's inflation, people passing away, things that you never seen before. Like with the Damar Hamlin, mm-hmm. you know, like we said, glad that he's all back and healthy. But it's crazy stuff to see, you know. And then same thing with Hawkeye. I don't know if you catch that on the news too. Oh, yeah. With Hawkeye and beginning of the year, you know, same thing. It's like crazy, you know. There was also that the driver. I think he was like a Ken something. I forgot his name. But he he said he was uh, removing snow in a snowplow and it flipped over and he, he passed away. Yeah. So. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, and but, then the most recent. I mean, not too recent, but here in, in Utah, the guy that killed his. Oh yeah, his family and himself. It's crazy stuff. He killed. Man. Well, I think it was like he killed his three kids: his wife and his mother-in-law. My mother-in-law and then himself. Oh yeah, and then himself. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, and it, and it was talking about like I guess his you know marriage issues was going on. His wife has had a filed for a divorce. Um, I don't know how long before. So uh, you know, there's some marital issues. And I mean, I, it's like a hard topic to talk about, you know, because I think religion is like a big, big one, you know, mm-hmm. and especially there's some religion where where it doesn't, you know, allow you to get divorced or it's, it's seen bad, you know. And so I don't know if that was kind of like a big cause, like, oh, you know, um, which I was talking about that, too, with like uh, a couple of people. It's like I understand the aspect of, you know, um, like, I mean, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but. I mean, we hear a lot of, it's more common to have, like, your domestic violence cases and stuff like that, right? Where spouse, you know, yeah. have problems with one another, and um, it leads to divorce, and that's kind of the end of the story. Or you see, you know, spouses kill one another for various of reasons, right? Yeah. But, like, how messed up can you be to kill your own kids? Yeah. I think that's the kind of how wrapping it around that part is, like... You're killing your kids, and um, I don't remember the ages of the kids, but I think they were like six and twelve. And, and I think one was like a yeah a teenager. So I, I think it's like it's crazy, you know, because it's like to do that to your kids just because, for example, they're saying the divorce. Like, okay, I get it, but why the kids? Yeah, you know, like what's going up through your mind? I, that type of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I feel like. Um, you know, one thing I comes to my mind is like he did he did that just because like if he you know he kills his wife he kills his you know mother in law like he doesn't know who the you know I'm assuming he's like probably thinking like where are my kids gonna go you know how are they gonna be raised who's gonna raise them so let me and, just and kill it's him. stuff fucked up right yeah, but it's, it's just like, like let me so just, let me just kill him and it's just like but it's like you're ending your you know your generation you know your whatever of your family right there you know. Especially like all those kids, it's like that he, you know, it's crazy sick. It's, um, but I think it also brings us, brings me back, or you know, brings us back to like mental health that we had that one episode. You know, it's just like seek help in that situation. Um, it's not right, and I mean, I don't, I don't think any kid should be going through and suffering like that. You know, going through all that, and I mean, just I mean, it just especially starting off the new year, just like listening to all this, I'm like, man, at least we thought. You know, like new new year, probably like new better outcomes, but same shit. Yeah, dude. And then, yeah, every, everyone's going through their own stuff, you know. Yeah. But it's just crazy to hear that stuff, and maybe it's harder for us here closer to home because we don't really hear about this stuff. I mean, we have cases and violence here in Utah. I'm not saying it's not it's perfect here in Utah, but we don't really hear of those cases where. You know, the parents kill their kids. Yeah. You know? No, it's crazy. But what else, like, um, yeah, so RIP to them, but yeah, here we here we are. Yeah, dude, New Year. So how do you look, what, what do you look forward to the New Year then? I mean, um, besides these sad and crazy things going on, what is something that's coming up in 2023 where you're like... I think just making sure that uh, I know, you know, it's uh, we're starting this off like mid mid January, but I feel like you know giving it more more time on this on our podcast. I think we I think you we, know we we both have to, you know, try to make it to where we could 
give people what they want, bro. They want more of me, so I have to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like just hide yourself, put yourself behind that camera, behind the microphone. So I have to give them more of me, uh-huh. so I like we have to put more content out. Which is I'm, me. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm glad to see that we hit the 50, yeah. which is which is great, you know. But I feel like I want to get, I want to keep doing this because it's just, you know, it's just I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not trying to do this to like, you know, make it to where it's like. Like an income, you know? Yeah. I think it's more for fun and it leads to stuff like that. To other opportunities, great. But I think it's just fun to just have these, you know, talk about dumb shit or things that are on my mind and hopefully, you know, make some sort of impact, you know? Yeah. And and so I feel, um, let me see, looking it up here. So, yeah. So it's been, it's been, um, so we hit our 15 listeners, but we actually have at this point in time 81 plays you know that that's just on 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 spotify or apple Podcasts. you know that's not including like our youtube shows that we have we have more more you know we have views on there too so i think you know um putting more content out and just you know having like this i feel like this episode is just kind of like we'll bring you up to to you know where we're at right now you know we don't really have i mean i personally don't really have like oh we're just going to talk about x you know this topic and this is what the, you know the podcast is going to be about it's more like bringing you up to date then you know you know what we've been up to kind of like um introducing season two it's season two, two you know <laughs> just kidding only with 16 episodes it's like <laughs> but i think that's not bad you know we can kind of like i feel like starting it off you know we can decide hey this is gonna be part of 16 you know episode 16 is is gonna be the, the we're gonna end it and then yeah, we, we sit we, you know we we being something that we can like get better content with okay this is what we're going to talk about this and this you know and then that way it's more planned out better better information out there whatever we're trying to talk about and then we say okay episode 17 or 18 might be you know season two oh you know i mean i think it's it's right you know we got the listeners you know i i know silos over here took a break on coming out with the uh with the uh with the merch merch but yeah. you know the funny thing about the merch is i, I got the design made mm-hmm. right or s- simply made you know it's not like anything fancy or anything yeah. like hard but i'm having a hard time finding because the thing i did I, I just drew it myself you know yeah. it's not like i i got it out of somewhere i'm trying to get that and submit it into an actual t-shirt because when i go to the to print these, it doesn't allow me to actually print your fucking chicken scratch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it but it's weird though because it's like the thing is I drew it on a t shirt, you know. So when I try to import that picture, it's a picture of a t shirt on a t shirt. You know what I mean? So it doesn't let me just import what I created and put it into an actual. This guy and this guy forgets that I do all that shit, but it's so I let I'll let him you know keep trying. He I mean to, I wouldn't he, mind having a picture of a pe- you know. This guy, of a shirt on his shirt. Like, it's like <laughs> it's the, the, the shirt in a shirt, you know. Yeah, that's, I think that's about it. And then I and I know you do the you have your C Joe digital and stuff that stuff too. But I'm, let let me try. No, to no, no, that's what I'm saying though. I want to like, let, let you figure out. Let me figure it out, and then once I'll, I'll hopefully have shirts, and you know we should have them soon. Yeah. And we're still waiting. Once we got all that together, season three is when we bring in Mindy. <laughs> no, Mindy might have to come in season two, bro, because we're getting a little. Um, it's getting harder. You have a lot of stuff to carry. Yeah, I know. And then you, and then you, you have another podcast you have to manage, bro. So, Damn, bro, that's on the on the low low. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, dude, that's he's, a, branch, he's branching off solo. I know, know like Destiny's Child. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, no, I'm, I'm. What's her name? Uh, <laughs> no, not Michelle. What's the other one? No, you're Fifth Harmony. No, 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 no. Like Bayo. No, we're still talking about Beyonce. But what's oh, Beyonce. the no, uh, Destiny's oh. Child? What's a? Uh, oh, dang it! Not Michelle. Um. Whatever. It's relevant. She's not even. She's irrelevant. So what? what yeah, don't matter. <laughs> but I'm that one. No, uh, I, I honestly. So I started the the second podcast because that's more of a like, um, business podcast, right? So it's more like it's bringing people up and and even we'll have an episode with, with Silos where we kind of say how we 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 started this whole like podcast, you know, uh, you know, from like no equipment to equipment to you know just t- how 
how where we are at this moment and kind of what we're seeing ourselves doing with this podcast because i see i mean this is our first and i learned so much with this right editing videos um just um audio now i'm learning tiktok and all this other stuff right so it's just more marketing on that i've learned so much from this podcast that i want to be able to bring it to the podcast but this one is kind of like my it's my it's, my, it's our child you know and i want to be able for us to like I mean, and it's it's allowed here now in the United States. So for us to bring this child up together and <laughs> it's like, you know, it's it's a it's a what is it a partner a partnership? Yeah, it's a partnership. <laughs> you know, and that's how it is. Because like, so once we get the listeners, then we get the the um. So he's using these good. listeners to piggyback up for his other podcast. No, because I, I mean, if I was that, then I would talk I'm about my scared. other podcast. You know, but what I'm saying is no, like, I know what you mean. This is um, I I feel like. This is uh, with this podcast. We're gonna go a lot more, right? We're gonna start putting more more stuff us together into this, and that's what I'm allowing. You know, we're not allowing, but you're doing the you're doing the shirts or the logo and stuff like that. And I do I worry about the other stuff, you know. And for me, it's some you know having not having the content that we had before, um, you know, regularly now. It's kind of makes it a bit more hard for me to market, but I'm also learning. A lot more, so I'll be able to start marketing more on on our park on thoughts at the spot, you know, because it's good. I like the, I like the whole, and it might change, right? Because you know, we were first starting off like, oh, we agree, we don't agree, but now I feel like it's like, you know, bringing up to and and we I know there's you know other podcast ideas, right? But we can make it like about what's going on in Utah, what we're most recent, and just focus on that, you know. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, I think no, it's going to be good. Sure. No, I think it's good. And if you guys haven't had a chance, go listen to this podcast because it's actually pretty good. So, Which one? Uh, your podcast. This one? Oh, the other oh, one. Oh, the um, Visions to Ventures. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So so once you're done listening to this one, if you haven't, go listen to his other podcast. But, and, um, but stay tuned for the merch. It's going to be legit. I know it is. I'll let him, you know. And then if, if he does ask for help, I'm still going to say he did it himself, you know. And if it doesn't come to be, out to... To be completely honest, I just, you know, I had to <coughs> put my effort on it, so... To what? I had to put more effort on it, you know? But yeah. but it's coming, it's coming, don't worry, I mean, it'll be there. So yeah, when you... I know all those 50 listeners want to cop it, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so get it. no, but it's going to be good, you know, we'll, we'll start... I feel like we uh, once we got the merch, we can't kind of like start putting some Easter eggs... I think that would be good to eat some Easter eggs and kind of like do some little drawings and see who, you know, which listener can get, get some of the merch, you know, and, um, I think it's good, but that's what's coming this year. I, I, I feel like I said, we need to give it all and that's going to happen. I mean, that's why I'm here at 11 at night or else I would, you know, probably call it a night, but 11 at night. Um, but yeah, dude. Um, so you now, you know, new year's, so what's up with you? Like, what do you, what do you see yourself doing in ten years? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like, it's it's like what? The, what? <laughs> no, like what? What has? What's new? Like what has changed? What do you feel like? It's a you know either positive, negative, whatever. Like what's like? What you, what you, what's up? Tell, me, tell us. Positive. You know, I mean, nothing. Nothing that. I think it's like positive or negative but you know it's just you know always excited for the new year you know always whatever comes and whatever goes you know um i'm the type of person that never really plans for things i just go with the flow um so if you were to ask me what i look forward to this year it's like you know it's just what i've expected or what i hope for every other year you know or every year um which you know it's just health yeah fortune and everything you know so i think it's just like just keep hoping that everything goes well you know financially mentally yeah health you know with family my kids my parents my siblings every everything friends as just everything just yeah. hope you know um gets better you know everybody gets better or stays the same but not worse you know yeah no that's that's a good way to to see that yeah, because no. I, I don't plan for shit, to be honest with you, bro. If you tell me what's my goal for five years, 10 years, 15 years, 
it's like, bro, I'm just trying to get to the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I never really planned anything. And I don't think, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with either having a plan or not having a plan, you know? <laughs> I, you know, for. I feel like people that have plans are just. It, it's great, you know? Yeah. Like, not, not, not to say that I'm jealous of them, but I think it's great, you know, because you, you are such an organized person that you know what you're working for, you know? In five years, you're looking at yourself here. So you know what you have to do. Yeah. To get there. So I yeah. think, you know, people that set goals is, you know, it's, it's great. Yeah. And there's also, like, you know, a negative behind that, right? Because if you're not like the type of person to know uh, failure or, you know, expect failure, is, it's like it's, it comes, you know. So if you have your, your if you you know, if you do have set something goals and, and then it just doesn't happen, you know, it just learn from that. That's one thing, like, you know, I got to tell people is, like, learn from your, your, from your mistakes, from your losses and move on and and do it better you know like for a second when we we you know we start you know taking some break i'm like man are we even planning to do anything with this podcast you know i didn't want to just set it up take take uh space on an apple podcast and spotify you know if we ain't doing crap with it but i feel good now you know i feel like starting this off again is is very motivating so um but i wanted to so I also want to talk about um, what, what what are we gonna talk about? I don't know. We were just so caught up and just you know catching up, which I mean, I mean we were MIA for you know a month or so, but I I mean I still feel the I mean there was a lot of things you know that was going on. You had the holidays, and you had obviously the new year. And then adjusting to the, you know, to the new year, right? Yeah. So, um, I mean, we'll continue to pump up episodes and, you know, um, possibly merge or possibly other things. But I, I just think once we, you know, you know, had, had with the, um, what's the word? Just when we, you know, we had, we hit, hit the gas, you know, we'll go straight ahead. I think we'll. You know, pop pops are good stuff. Yeah. So, um, but now, for this episode, I don't know what we're gonna talk about. We were supposed to record last week when we had other things. Yeah. Man, it, what's crazy too, like, is um, I'm already like just thinking, like, man, like we got birthday parties at the birthday parties, you know, um, and then we Do got we? Valentine's. I got my daughter's birthday party. Oh, yeah, you know, your daughter's well, birthday. birthday, you know, because her party. I think we're gonna save it for spring or something or, or um. But we got my daughter's um, birthday at the end of this month. Yeah, Valentine's. And then Valentine's and... And St. Patty's. St. Patty's. And then towards the end of March, like, my, my son might be born, you know? That's true. So, damn, it's like, you know... But I get a whole month off, so I'll be recording. No, I'm just kidding. It's you like a whole month off? Just one month? Yeah, dude, I ain't, gonna, I ain't get it four months like you, bro. Dang, dude. And I work, and I work uh, at a hospital. I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> But yeah, dude, that's I what we get. Think they would give you more than just a month. No, they gave us like three weeks paid. Mm. But I have, uh, I have over two hundred hours of PTO, so I could technically take six weeks, six another additional six weeks. But it's yeah. not like that. You don't like to take breaks. You're a yeah. hard worker. Yeah, I like I'm, you know, I stay at work and, you know, long hours. I don't even know when to take a break or I didn't even know we had PTO. No, nah, just kidding. <laughs> the wifey get huh time off. Yeah, just she doesn't get she gets the same oh, three same. weeks, three weeks. But she really? has some, uh, yeah. Even for the one given the, really. Yeah, I might have to look into that though. I have to because uh, I mean I know other other jobs she's been to. I think they gave her like two months. Well, yeah, I mean typically the the um, nowadays you have to say the person that does the labor. You can't just say you know. Yes, <laughs> but not to offend anybody. <laughs> But the person that gives, you know, does the labor. The woman. Yep. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm, yep like the that. woman. Um, typically should get longer because, I mean, heaven forbid, but like if anything goes wrong during the labor, then you need to recuperate yeah. your body, you know? So I don't think three weeks would be it sufficient, is but... But, but I, I mean, know. looking at looking from the site and stuff, that's what I see. I mean, I have to kind of check and talk to HR and figure that out. Call him you know? right now, bro. 
<laughs> sorry, 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 like, call me HR right now, bro. <laughs> no, but I mean, it, it It makes, I would think, you know, I mean, the hospital knows, bro. I mean, yeah. they, they know what they go through, you know, so I'm yeah. assuming. I'm sure uh, there is, and I'm just, you know, probably talking out of my ass right now, but I have to double check and see what the actual, you know, like, um, time off and all that. Because they said, I, they said if I didn't want to use mine, I can transfer some of her, mine to her, her to my wife, but I mm. mean, I'm going to take it. And I think that's when we'll pump up like so much content. And I just can't do it. I'll be like fucking tired, you know. But this new, you you took a, your daughter's turning seven. seven. So you took in a seven year break <laughs> and you're starting over again. But it's, I'm at my prime right now, dude. 33 is where it's at, you know. <laughs> no, nah, that's when mm. you get tired more often, bro. Like right now I'm having a hard time and I'm fairly young. I know he's like, can you give me an energy drink? And yeah, I'm like, it's no, like, dude, can you give me an energy drink? Like taking that before I get there. Yeah, it's like energy drink, and then um, now I'm like falling asleep like at ten. When is like I, I used to play online. I haven't even played online, dude. So it's just like, yeah. it's you know having kids is, takes a toll on you. Which, so good luck. Yeah, which is funny though, because I'm like, last time he's like, dude, get online. So I get online, and he's, I'm just gonna put my kids to bed, you know. And I'm playing, to, like, I play, like, three games, and I text him, and I think, oh, this bitch fell asleep. Yeah, dude, because... Uh, <laughs> but do you, people, like... People that people that have kids feel me on this, but, you know, when you're putting your kids to sleep, it's not like you just lay them in bed, and you just wait for them to go to bed, right? Yeah. And you have to, like, lay with them, and, like, you know, soothe them a little bit, and hopefully they go to sleep. But that process is just, like, it's just that... You hit that spot... <coughs> And Sorry. it just slaps, bro. Like you just lay in bed comfortably, and you just you just pass them out. Well, it's even now too, because my um, my daughter, she's you know she's turning seven, but um, and she has her own bed and stuff like that in her own room. But it's like, oh, like dad, just you know, I I read her a book, and then after I'm done reading her book, I'm like, fuck, I'm tired, and then so I just stay there and I pass out, mm-hmm. and then I tell my wife, wake me up when you know, in like twenty thirty minutes. And she doesn't. So then I stay there sleeping. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, and it's like a twin bed and shit. So anyways, so yeah, growing, getting older sucks, but it's also good. Um, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm, one thing too that I'm going to focus and not just because it's the fucking New Year's, but um, I think oh, like that I put in my, you know, I told you, remember how I have like whiteboard and I put fucking um, the shit that I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, you know, anyways. So I put on there my health, you know, because I feel like my health is like I should put that as a priority besides everything else. So I'm slowly putting that in here. And that means like cutting certain parts, not like a resolution type of shit, but just putting that as a priority. In general, just cut. In general, cut, you know, cutting back. Because what's the point of having all this shit or us, you know, continue our podcast and then I just fucking die out of something, you know. But then I. I but here's my thing, because I, I like. Then. You know, comes from, for me, that I live my life a little differently. People may agree, people may not agree. But we take so much care of ourselves and our things. But you just never know when you're going to go. Yeah. Right? Like, right now you're saying that you want to be a little more healthier, which is great. You should, you know, because what you're doing in your life. Um, you want to be healthy, you know. Yeah. You want to have the energy. You want to have the, you know, the strength to do it. But to like sh- completely shift your lifestyle, um, just because you want to, per se. Oh, I, I hope I live longer. Which, yeah, I mean, we all hope we live longer. But I, I just think like we should also live our life as, yeah. to the fullest as we can. So I'm the type of person that, and people that have different lifestyles would know, but it's just like, hey, I'm, I could eat this, you know, yeah. I could have an energy drink, or I, you know, I don't have to go to the gym, which we should go to the gym. Yeah. We should have exercise. But I think some people beat themselves up a little too much for it, and that's just the way I see things. It's just like, try to live your life to the fullest. Obviously, don't do, I'm not saying you have like, five energy drinks a day yeah you know but if you have an energy at least once a day or once every other day or once a week i mean try to 
change your lifestyle, you know, a bit. Don't drastically change it. Yeah. Because then you're not really doing anything good for yourself. Yeah. You're looking at it more bad than good, you know? And I, I, I totally agree because I know there's um, diets out there that are like, oh, cut this out completely. And, sorry. <coughs> and there's times for me, like, when I when I actually lost, when my wife was pregnant seven years ago, you know, um, the, I didn't cut anything out of my diet. I just portioned it, you know, and I, I, I went to the gym probably like four out of four out of you know, seven days and it helped me lose a lot of weight. So and I'm not, you know, completely going to do, uh, I was going to say 360, but that would put me in the same spot. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you're going to do a complete 360. <laughs> it's like, okay, you're going back. I uh, don't know. No, no, but 180. It's like, but what's the, don't listen to us, to, to these two fat guys, you know, talking about health. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, we recommend, I was like, <laughs> it's like, it's like these fucking fat guys are giving us advice. Nah, but, but <laughs> dude, dude, I, um, Celo's actually at one point, you know, I mean, he's not hefty, but at one point he he lost a lot of weight. I think was it for your for your wedding, right? Yeah, for wedding, I, I lost uh, I think it's like thirty forty pounds, and you know, it, it wasn't I. It was hard because I, you know, I you know from coming to eating a lot to like, you know, counting your calories and yeah, eating the same shit every day was a toll but i feel like the first two weeks were the hardest just because you're adapting your body to that but after the two weeks it's just smooth sailing yeah so and i feel like it i don't want to say it's a cheat code but i know that if i do that again i I could lose weight you know yeah so i just but i know that if i do that again i know that my lifestyle is not that yeah because it's something that you have to keep doing you know it's not you just can't do a diet, and then boom, go back to eating yeah. cheeseburgers and all this. But stuff. I, but I think you had a reason behind that. I, I think that's a valid reason or valid, you know, goal or I mean, not goal, but a valid, you know, why you were doing that. And I think you you got it. You know, you can do it, and that's all that matters, right? I feel like now you have it in your back of the head that you can be like, I can do this any fucking time, and I'm gonna drop that shit instantly. But like you said, you love the cooking, whether it be you you're doing the cooking or your wife doing the cooking, or you guys going out to eat. It's but just, it's just, I mean, I just you know, love food. It's, food. It's, just, it's just hard to say to like, and I, I mean, I think every Hispanic feels this way, dude. But it's like you have all this food to our disposal. It's just like, dude, yeah. I can't limit myself to freaking chicken and fish, you know. Yeah. So I mean, but I know, I know, I could, I could ease, I not say easily, but I could just switchly go back to that and lose a couple pounds, which I think I want to do. Just because I'm trying to look good, you know, hot boy summer. Hot boy summer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hot boy summer, you know. Trying, <coughs> my goal is to do this podcast shirtless, you know. So I just. What the fuck? <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll have an episode where it's just like shirtless and shit. Yeah, so I mean. Uh, I'm not going to. I can't guarantee you that I'll be fit, but my boobs is okay. <laughs> it's like SZA said, you know, what is what is what's that song? Um, It's a big boy. Big boy? Anyways, it's a song that she says a saying, and she was talking about it's uh it's like big boy season, big boy season. So Ooh. that's how we're 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 you know where we're at because um and it was crazy though too. It's like girls have like I mean and not just girls, but I guess there can be like um us too, right? But like there's girls that like dad bods. I think dad bod was in. You know, I, mean, I don't know about this year. They haven't said anything. You know? you know, all twenty two with bad but, bods. Yeah, but I think it's like it's like because you know it's not fat, but it's like you gain weight because you know you know during the time with your wife is pregnant, eh, you know you eat what they eat, and then eventually you, it doesn't stop there because then your kids are eating. You're like, oh man, they want this. Like, oh, I want to eat it too. You know. Or for me personally, it's like my daughter doesn't finish her food, and I'm not saying I'm forced, but I mean I, I spent the money, so I'm like, I'll eat it. Instead of just being like, hey, I can just throw it away, you know. Yeah, that's my, that was, you know, that's a problem that I have too is, is I can't throw away food. So uh, even though I'm full, I just like to just eat it. You like my nails, bro? Yeah, dude. Match your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what you got to do, you know, kids and shit. But um, He doesn't no. have kids. 
<laughs> I just kidding. He's but, like, why'd you do your nails, bro? Why are you lying? I know, dude. It's like, I was like, you know, I want to look pretty for this podcast that, that comes out here soon. But, um. No, that's what happens when you have girls, no? So, you right. mean, did she do your makeup or anything like that? Try no. to do makeup? No. no, she did it like a while back. Like, I think, you know, when she was a bit younger, but no, I didn't want to do all that. You know, I wish we had someone moving our camera so they can zoom in and stuff like that, but. Like, zooming in, you know, just yeah. the third person would be nice. I can't zoom in. I mean, because oh, the lens should have moved, stupid ass, but whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, that'd be uh, nice. but yeah, it'd be nice. I mean, hopefully, we do ever hire a Mindy. It would be nice, you know? That's Yeah, that's just going to happen. I think that's I'm the gonna... goal. Market here. The goal is to carry this enough to where we could hire a Mindy. Yeah. And then she can whatever that Whatever that takes, you know? Whatever it, if it's... Because we're doing so great and we have a lot of listeners or because we just decided that we wanted to have a Mindy. But whatever it takes, my goal is to hire a Mindy. Well, all of a sudden, like, she has an episode where she does it by herself and then it's called the Mindy Show or something. The Mindy like Show? And it's like, like... And then it's like, what the fuck? It's like... It takes all our followers. She just, like, branches off, uses our equipment to do yeah, her no. podcast. Takes all our... our all of, all of our... our, 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 our <laughs> takes all... Is that a blooper? Our, That's our, a- <laughs> This is a blooper. This whole, <laughs> no, it takes all of our flower, flowers. Oh my gosh. What? Followers, <laughs> including all five of y'all. And yeah, that'd be sad. But no, now we thing. have 50. I could proudly say I have 50 people listening. Yeah. 50 people are listening to the stupid shit that we're saying. And it, I'm glad. It is what it is, bro. But honestly, like I'm telling you, bro, it says here. Look, it says here. Uh. How many plays we got? But what does it mean by the, the the plays though? Like that just means like someone clicked on the episode, right? I'm assuming, right? It just says it. it yeah, and then, on it. yeah, and it doesn't count. It doesn't count like uh, like us. Um, it just uh, let me see here if it says anything. No, it, so it says so. Fifty unique. So fifty listeners. That means like. If we listen to it, it counts as one, right? But if we continue listening listening to our own episodes, it's not going to count anymore. Yeah. Because, you know, it tracks whatever. Makes sense. So we had 50 plus unique listeners. Um, out of those 51, 50, now we have uh, 81 listens, I think it said. 81 plays. So that means 81 people have actually listened to our podcast so far. So 81 people have actually clicked on them. On yeah. Them. And it, you know, it's peaked at, I think the highest was like, you know, Christmas. We didn't release anything that that, that time either. I think it's all the, yeah. People on crazy. break. So, oh yeah, I guess that, you know, I mean, I feel like, see, and that's the thing. So, we will push content and then we'll just, we you know, during those times, holidays, you know. We like to take holidays off. We like, <laughs> we have banker hours. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Um, we got MLK off. No, but that's what I'm saying though, right? Like during those holidays when. All of a sudden, four people listen to our our podcast, you know, and then one person listened to it like four days ago. So it's kind of yeah, we're getting there, you know. And so know we appreciate a, it. Yeah, so we do appreciate it. And I know there's a lot of freaking podcasts out there. There's podcasts for anything, you know. So I just think it's cool that it, you know, eighty one plays. I mean, just continue to listen and continue to share. You know, anything helps. Help us get that Mindy. Yeah, and it's all those, you know. Um, there's other podcasts, but. Well, the podcast it starts at spots. So I'm like, it's, it makes sense, bro. We're sharing our thoughts at the spot, which you know, and we'll we'll move it other places too, you know. Um, but I think I like the setup because people always compliment. Oh, he has you know whoever's place that is it. They have really good Marvel stuff and all this other you know man cave and shit. So eventually we'll have some of those. Well, I don't know if you'll like it, but put some of those sound barriers so it's like really clean. Audio, like, so. Yeah, so it's like completely soundproof. Yeah. That'd be sick. Then you get rid of your family, so that way, yeah, know, that, way, that way we don't freaking listen to them. <laughs> but <laughs> no, nah, but I think it's I think it's great. I like I like it. I mean, hope like people that see the background, you know, it it's Kobe Bryant. I mean, huge Laker fan, huge 49er fan. But you have the Kobe, the goat, in the background, so. Yeah, we should probably give him a tour too. One of these days, we'll do yeah. a tour or something. One of these days, uh, I even yeah, we got the equipment, dude. We can just 
even just I doesn't mean, even have like to be a huge podcast. In here, but yeah, but it's good. We got. I mean, the we just won't turn around. Where because it's right behind like the a, cameras, like fucking stacked on liquor. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's being held in, by uh, I think uh, Jack Daniels right now. Yeah, dude. It's like it's my resolution funny. is to stop drinking. Yeah, good luck with that, bro. I know. Dude, which is funny though. Uh, I'm gonna have to be honest, but. During New Year's, or was, I think it was New Year's, or no, it was Christmas. He was trying to have me take a shot. And I put water in one of the shot glasses. <laughs> it was Christmas. Oh, my gosh. And I poured it because I didn't want to drink anymore. But, he, you know, CeeLo still wanted to drink. But I fucked up, though, is I put water on the glass that said CeeLo's. And he wanted that one. But imagine if I gave him that one. He took a shot. And right away, he'd be like, what the fuck, you know? So I threw it away. He thought I was throwing away the liquor. But I'm like, no, it's just water. But this, that's guy's, good, this guy's such a say, bro, punk. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's a clean up. It's a family. It's a family show. What the fuck? Did Just that happen? It's like <laughs> it's like we're always cussing and shit. I know. No, nah, but yeah, man, this bitch freaking puts water in a. The, the thing, the thing with him is, he drinks, but then he, all of a sudden, like, like his freaking. Vagina hurts because he can't freaking continue drinking. So it's just, it's like you take one or two shots, you know, and you know when you, when you're drinking, you get in this buzz or this area where you're just like, I want to keep it here, and it's not like I get drunk to with a, you know, you get blacked out drunk, you know, but you want to keep maintain that sort of like mood that you were having. So when you're drinking, you just want to stay in that. Yeah. Right? But what Javi does is he just drinks. He drinks past that line. And then he just stops completely. No, it's right which, it. which it just kills the mood. So yeah. it's like, okay, what's what? You know, it's like, right, I can't drink no more. So it's like, bro, yeah. there's only three people here drinking, you know, when it's like. Yeah. And I- no, and I think for New Year's, that's what I did. I, you know, we were drinking, taking shots, and it sucked because, you know, we, but, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna, like, I mean, we all stopped because it's New Year's and we wanted to remember the New Year's, but, um, yeah, I started eating and all that, and I feel good because I, I took care of myself and so I didn't wake up with the hangover because hangover after 30 suck, you know. I don't know if it even now for you, but. I haven't really experienced a hangover. Oh, shit, because he's an alcoholic. You heard that first. <laughs> I, I haven't really experienced a hangover just because I know what you have to do. You just, yeah. first of all, number one rule, don't mix shit. Don't mix. Yeah. That's the one that's going to, you know, bite you in the ass. And second is when you know you're done drinking or when the party's over or when no one else is you know drink a lot of water yeah that's it that's it and that's it um, and then if you can take a cold shower <laughs> and then what about rub one off does that work rubbing off uh, maybe never tried it I do it I mean that that's probably why see. you get that's probably why you get hangover bro. <laughs> I release too much I'm like fuck <laughs> But no, this is this is one of our. Uh, this might not even be the episode of sixteen. No, I'm just kidding. This, we're just not gonna, <laughs> this is just we're, like we're just not a bonus. Gonna this. Yeah, we're not gonna hear this. We're not. What the fuck am I doing? No. Just kidding, no. Dude. Um. This so. Yeah, I don't know if you have anything to share or you want to. I feel like we just talked sh- bullshit this yeah. episode, but I like it. Yeah. We just we just you know when this is what it's about. But yeah, I don't have anything for this episode because I think we want to do episode seventeen. Yeah, so we'll we'll talk and we'll make sure to see what episode seventeen if it's still going to be season what season it's still season one, um or if we're gonna we'll we'll, we'll talk you know yeah well, we don't know we get, what, yeah we don't know what we're gonna do yet, yeah but and I, and so but we'll make sure we're more prepared I know like right like we had so much stuff that we wanted to talk about like two three weeks ago or whatever it is and. And I think now it's like past that time where we're like, all right, we'll just catch up, bring people up to date, and then just kind of. Um, don't you? Th- you know like, what thing that is kind of like? I don't know why, but I feel like we're always bringing people up to date. With what? Like just we? I feel like I just need to pump more content out. I don't 
But this is, I mean, why are we going to lie and say, like, this is, you know, we're 45 minutes in. I, you know, I think it's, it, it was just, you know, small little things here and there with an update and, and you know, more to come. But I think now is for sure um, being prepared with topics. So that way, we when we record, we can go based on that and then anything else that comes up into mind. Cool. Sounds yeah. like a plan. So, if you got anything else for the for the for the fam? No, just all I gotta say is catch you on episode seventeen. Yeah, keep believing in us. We appreciate the love, the support, the listens on on the three platforms. You know, we got Spotify, Anchor, which Anchor's part of Spotify. So Spotify, um, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and then we're on TikTok. On you know? TikTok. So. TikTok. Yeah, and then be on the lookout. More content coming to you. Better content. If better I feel like if you and feel like we merge. emerge, you know. So we love you all. Episode sixteen is this one right here. Um, you already know where to find us. You already know what to do. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And hit us up. You already know that DM. <laughs> Slide <laughs> um, it. Keep sliding. No one's gotta know. Slide into my DMs. Just do it anonymously and then I'll anonymously write back, you know. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we love you and we appreciate it. And we out. <laughs>